you have a small boat, especially one that you want to fish with, run some accessories in a trolling motor, but you still want to power your gas outboard, I highly recommend you consider a dual purpose starting trolling battery with a lithium iron phosphate chemistry. And this one here is by WattCycle. Now on my boat, I've got a 50 horsepower two stroke outboard engine from 1968. And this battery will start it just fine. But at the end of the season, this battery is actually useful for more things for me than just running this boat. See, because it's a 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery with 100 amp hours, I can do things like go camping with it. I can use it as power backup in my home in South Carolina where we sometimes get hit by hurricanes. It's something that doesn't just exist in this boat. It uses lithium iron phosphate chemistry, not lead acid. And that means that we have a clean, lightweight, portable, compact, efficient, and powerful battery as opposed to a clunky, dirty, old, heavy, off-gassing lead-acid battery. The first thing is that it has a Bluetooth monitor, which means that I can see how much percentage is left in this battery at all times. Without doing something like turning off your trolling motor and checking this very inaccurate gauge, it's got an empty battery, it's got two full batteries, and it's got one in the middle. But it's not accurate at all, and let me tell you why. This particular battery will put out a higher voltage than a lead-acid battery throughout its state of charge up until the very end. It has a different battery chemistry, so it has a different discharge profile. That means that this trolling motor will basically get maximum speed until the battery is close to dead. Unlike a lead acid, which is going to slow down as you lower the voltage because it can't put out as many amps. Another feature is because of the battery chemistry of lithium iron phosphate, you can use almost 100% of the capacity of this battery. Unlike a lead acid, which after you get down below about 50%, you start to degrade the battery. This battery, on the other hand, should last you, honestly, more than 10. It has a five-year warranty and it has a 3,000 life cycle expectation. In the life of this battery, I'll probably cycle it 300 times maybe. So really, it's kind of a limitless thing. It's gonna be around for a long time.